Good morning, my lines. It's Don Snow's comedy with the morning announcements. Let's begin. Is there a poem waiting to be written inside you? Do you want to get published or be a published writer? Students, now is your chance. Scholastic Publishing is holding a poetry contest with over 4,000 in prizes. See your English teacher for details and entry form. Both middle schoolers and high school stu students qualify to enter. Also, United Way Ambassador Marvin Castro will be collecting donations during B Day for his blog. Teachers, remember, classes must donate $20 or more to participate for awards, such as Pizza Party or Donut Party. Also, community service are due soon, November 1st to be exact. Seniors, you must turn in your community service packet by November 1st to Ms. Perdomo. Without it, your hours will not be inputted. Also, high school students for opportunities to get community service hours see Ms. Perdomo. YPA is also collecting for EMA victims and for Puerto Rico to get community service hours to help seniors and high school students. Also, students interested in getting community service hours by assisting in the planning of Trick or Treat Street at YMPA, see Ms. Perdomo today or when you have the opportunity. Also, nominations, nominations, nominations. Listen up, students. There are three different organizations seeking nomination at this time. The first one is for 9th graders, 10th graders, and 11th graders, interest in law and CSI. The National Youth Leadership Forum of Law and CSI is building hosted on the summer for six days in Washington, D.C. If you're interested, please see Ms. Perdomo or ask a teacher to nominate you. Also, the Cosif Society is looking for incoming freshmen and rising juniors, that is in ninth or current 10th graders, to partake and be recipients of the Cosif Scholarship. This includes an inclusive Scholarship to USF. See Ms. Perdomo for details. And last but not least, the opportunity for 10th graders. It is a program for intellectually curious and motivated 10th graders to apply for a full scholarship and participate in a six week summer program sponsored by the Cornell University and the University of Michigan. Also, any students interested in taking the PSA, the PERT, see Ms. Perdomo ASAP. ABC to college success. How many college, colleges, universities can you name? Today we are looking for a maximum number of colleges, university, starting with the letter F, I believe. Name as many colleges as possible along with three well-known facts, including whether or not the colleges, university had the mayor, had the major you are looking for. Phones should be turned to Ms. Perdomo before the end of the day. Every day will change the letter daily. Also, last but not least, Dr. Michael M. Crop College Fair is Tuesday, October 24, 2017 at MKHS Gymnasium at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Over 100 colleges, universities, and technical institutes expected open to all grade levels. Parents are invited. Now let's watch brief videos. First, for Hispanic Heritage Month, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a Caribbean island in the U.S. territory. Its capital is San Juan. The currency is the United States dollar. Puerto Rico gained its independence on July 25, 1898. Puerto Rico's flag was officially adopted in 1922. The red stripes represent the blood that nourishes the three branches of government. The native language of Puerto Rico is Spanish and English. Puerto Rico was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1493. He stayed at the island for two days while he was there. He named the island San Juan Batista for St. John the Baptist. Malongo is a Puerto Rican dish with fried plantains as its main ingredient. Plantains are picked green and fried then mashed with salt, garlic, and oil in a wooden pylon, a kitchen device also known as mortar and pestle. Asapao is a rice soup from Puerto Rico. Asapao is often the meal after the meal. What interesting facts about Puerto Rico, don't you think? Now, let's watch this LGBT video. Elysia Garza, born in January 4, 1981, is an African-American activist and editor writer who lives in Oakland, California. She has organized around the issues of health, student services, and rights 
rights for domestic workers, anti-police brutality, anti-racism, and violence against trans and gender non-conforming people of color. She currently directs special projects at the National Domestic Workers Alliance. Garza also co-founded the Black Lives Matter movement. In addition, Garza presented at the 2016 Bay Area Rising event, speaking about the purgation of Black Lives Matter and human rights. In addition, Garza self-identifies as a queer woman, and her response is vertical and transgender. Well, Mighty Lions, that has been all for the morning announcements. Have a roaring great day.